From its earliest days, music has always played a big part in cinema. Before sound was able to be played with movies, music was often played live. Before talkies, music accompanied the story. Once dialogue began to be added to film, one of the first genres that sprung up was the musical. Musicals took place in a utopian world. Where the western was often about a lone hero, the musical is about uniting a community. In musicals, dance stood in for the intimacy that couldn't be shown under the Hays Code, an early and crude pass-fail rating system. The musical, as a genre, was a hit. Last year, the awards season was conquered by a musical in the same vein as the old Hollywood musical. La La Land. Justin Hurwitz, Benj Pasek, and Justin Paul for City of Stars, La La Land. Linus Sundgren, La La Land. La La Land. David Watt. La La Land. The film opens with a big Rodgers and Hammerstein style number, Another Day of Sun. The color palette is reminiscent of Vincent Minnelli's work, and if dance stood in for intimate contact, then it was pretty astronomical. The one thing it isn't, however, is utopian. Another Day of Sun sets up a utopian version of the world. To an outsider, Los Angeles probably seems like the place where utopia might exist, especially those who are starstruck. But the end of the film subverts this. Sebastian and Mia don't end up in a happy place. And to make it even more painful, the audience is forced to watch what could have been. In this way, La La Land might be somewhat dystopian. And that's nothing new. La La Land just happens to be the most recent addition. Rewind to 2014. Rudderless, William H. Macy's directorial debut, was released. The film centers around a father's loss of his son. He connects with his son through his son's music and finds a foster son in another young, musically inclined man named Quentin. But by the end of the film, Quentin and Sam, the father, are not on good terms. The film starts with a loss and ends with a loss. The couple, in this case a father-son relationship, never sticks. But maybe this isn't a traditional enough musical. Rewind to 2013. Begin Again, starring Mark Ruffalo and Kira Knightley, is released. That film focuses on a more traditional male-female relationship. Knightley's Greta starts off the film with a breakup, which isn't uncommon for musicals. She meets up with Ruffalo's Dan, who is in the middle of a separation with his wife. He's a formerly successful record producer. She's a musician. Bada bing, bada boom, they're making music together. By the end of the film, however, Dan is back with his wife, and Greta has gone solo. There is no unification of the community. But maybe that still isn't traditional enough. So let's look at Les Miserables. In 2012, following his Oscar-winning The King's Speech, Tom Hooper unleashed Les Miserables on movie-going audiences. If ever there was a truly dystopian musical, it would be the adaptation of Victor Hugo's Les Miserables. The hero, Jean Valjean, is a fugitive. By jumping parole and hiding his identity, Valjean eventually makes a decent life for himself as a factory owner. That is, until Inspector Javert discovers who Valjean is and sends Valjean back on the run. Valjean's initial crime is stealing a loaf of bread for his sister's starving children. And the story doesn't get any happier than this. Valjean raises one of his factory workers' children after the worker dies from being fired and then starving and then selling her teeth for food that she can't eat because she doesn't have teeth. Then there's a revolution because people are miserable and all the while the cast sings about their hardships. It is a truly dystopian musical. La La Land, Rudderless, and Begin Again might not be dystopian, the story worlds are not altogether unpleasant, but they are at least points on a pendulum swing away from the utopian musicals of old Hollywood, and the pinnacle of that pendulum swing is Les Miserables.
thanks for watching. Unfortunately, it wasn't until the editing phase that I realized bada bing, bada boom probably shouldn't be part of my repertoire. In other news, the channel blew past 10 subscribers last week. If you have a million or a thousand or a hundred, 10 may not seem like a lot, but to those 12 people, you have made my week. Thank you. To everybody else, what are you waiting for? Like, comment, subscribe.